Hey guys and girls, welcome back to iFactioner.com video tutorials and we have been discussing about how to draw different uh, graphics on our canvas element in HTML5 and we have been using CSS3 and JavaScript to do that. Up till now we have uh, got a canvas2.html file a canvas2.css file and a canvas2.js file and we have uh, an output uh, of a canvas on our page like this. Now guys and girls uh, just to demonstrate that we can use more than one canvas element on our page we will be making another canvas uh, element on our page. So now we will do that. I go to my canvas2.html page. Just copy and paste uh, my canvas element because I am lazy and I change its ID to new canvas2. I click on the save button on canvas2.html file and then I go to my canvas dot CSS file which is the external cascading style sheet file similarly I just copy and paste it change the ID to new canvas 2 I would uh, like to change its color just to show you guys that we can have two canvases and just uh, uh, put the margin at 10 pixels so it would be 10 plus 10 pixels away from the, our canvas number one and then we go to our browser click on the reload button and now we have got an other canvas with yellow background and you can use uh, hex values to change these uh, ugly looking colors but I'm just using these colors so you can see them uh, in your in the video and now we go to our canvas2.js file <coughs> sorry about it <coughs> uh, I go to canvas2.js file and now I can just copy these first two elements, the uh, first two statements and I say I change the name of the variables to can2 and jctx2 and can2 dot get context, context. So I do not need to type more because I know that code is working and I just copied and pasted it. And now guys and girls I just click uh, I just uh, press enter many times and now we are going to draw an arc on our canvas element number two on our second canvas and uh, the arc method needs some uh, 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 values and uh, uh, I just comment uh, it and uh, to show you what values do we need it needs an x value y value r value start value and the stop value so it shows uh, the x axis uh, value the y axis value what would be the radius of our arc what would be the start point and what would be the end point so uh, mm, to draw a perfect circle we need uh, uh, a value somewhere near to 2 into pi which would be 6.4 uh, times so one time is uh, about one sixth of a circle uh, and uh, to see more and to understand more we just uh, start our coding I say that uh, JCTX2 
dot begin path because now I, I need to draw a path so I am using a path method and then I would use the arc method and I say jctx dot arc and from where should it begin on the x-axis uh, now uh, this yellow canvas has the x-axis uh, its x-axis or the x pixels x value starts from 0 to 400 over here it's not with respect to the page but with respect to our canvas so and it's y axis values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so on and so forth up till 400 pixels so I say that uh, my circle should start uh, at around 200 pixels on the x-axis and 200 pixels on the y-axis and it would uh, draw a circle so I say that it should uh, draw a circle from x 200 pixels on the x-axis 200 pixels on the y-axis and the uh, radius of a circle should be 100 pixels and what uh, would be the start point it should be 0 so it uh, would start draw from somewhere from 200 pixels and it would draw like hit so I say that uh, it should draw, draw from the point 0 to point let's say 1 and uh, you can also give the stroke style and the line width like we did in our previous tutorial but uh, uh, we would do it in the next few minutes and I just uh, say that now uh, I have defined the arc and you need to draw it so I would just sorry it should be jctx2 because now we are using another paintbrush or another context and jctx2 dot stroke so now draw it stroke and I click on the save button go to my canvas element refresh it and it has drawn a circle in the same in the in the other canvas element and we will see what we have done wrong so we said that can2 is also on canvas 2 on new canvas but it should referring to new canvas 2 and i click on save button go to my page and refresh it and now it has drawn a circle <coughs> a 1 by 6th of a circle so if I need uh, to uh, 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 1 by 6th of an arc uh, of a circle so if I change the value go to my page refresh it now look at it now it has a uh, also edit another 1 by 6 uh, element of a circle if I change it to 4 and then refresh it then the arc is getting bigger and uh, now we can see that it would uh, form a circle at around 2 into pi which is 6.4 and I can say that uh, go to uh, 6 times I refresh my page and now it's almost a circle and if I change it I can change its value to 7 click refresh and now it can it has formed a full circle